Canadian Forces pilot Tim Woods fires up his engines and prepares for a flight into history. He's in Comox with his CF-18 Hornet for a rare opportunity to practice with some of Canada's most famous flyers. It's a full-up air, dis air display uh, routine that we do, including aerobatics, low level obviously, down to as low as 300 feet, up to speeds as fast as 0 .90 Mach, which is equivalent to 600 miles per hour. The fighter is normally based in Cold Lake, Alberta, but it's spending this year on the road and in the air. It's been repainted and dubbed the Century Hornet to commemorate the 100th anniversary of powered flight in Canada. Because of the Golden Hawk and the Golden Centenaire, there, therefore the gold in the airplane, the blue also, Air Force Blue, so those are why the two colors were chosen to commemorate that in, in the paint scheme. The aircraft will be accompanied by two other significant aircraft with similar coloring. And the plan will be at the air shows for those three airplanes to fly in formation at different air shows across Canada. So that's another reason why we're here as well, is to do some formation flying with the F-86 Sabre and with the Tudor Standards pilots that will be training us. The Hornet will take to the skies along with the Snowbirds at air shows across Canada. The Canadian Forces is promoting it as the ideal way for people to witness its capabilities as a fighter aircraft. You'll see them do some maneuvers, some aerobatic maneuvers. You'll see them do some loops and rolls, high G maneuvers to as high as 6.5 G as well. Some of the maneuvers you'll see are very similar to what the Snowbirds fly, except as a single airplane flying a lot higher speeds. Today's practice audience included Snowbird pilots who had just finished doing their routines. And like the Snowbirds, the CF-18 is practicing in Comox to take advantage of varied terrain. Plus, it gets crews used to being out on tour. It's our first opportunity to test out to make sure that we have the right equipment with us when we're deployed out in the, at the air show circuit to make sure all our kit is working, we have the right spare parts required, we have the right tools in case we need to fix anything on the jet while we're deployed at an air show. For the pilot and crew of the Century Hornet, the upcoming air show season is seen as a great public relations opportunity. Similar to the Snowbirds, pilot Tim Woods will be spending just as much time with the public as he will in the air. Obviously, it's key for us to have a pilot that can be uh, is very well received by the spectators, can interact with the children, because that's the kind of message we want to send across. Is you know, that we're not just a person, or uh, you know, it's, it's something that anybody can aspire to be. Because we think the Air Force is a great job. The Century Hornet will continue practicing over the Comox Valley at 11 and.